up for review tonight is the Kamen Rider Dragon Knight Dual Rider Set. Essentially alternate versions of the Wing Cycle and the Dragon Cycle. So as you see here in this packaging, there's depictions of um, Wing Knight and Dragon Knight on the sides along with their gimmick which I'll show in a bit. And on the back, more pictures of them and their gimmick. But everything else is nothing new. The drag visor and the six figures already released. So, nothing new besides that. Okay, so, enough about the packaging. Let's get started on the toy. Okay, here they are outside the packaging. Now, this toy was originally said to have come with two advent cards. I only found one packaged. Uh, Kamen Rider Spear Spin Bent. I haven't seen any other card inside its packaging. I checked all over. And according to instructions, if you can see, uh, this was the only card that this toy was supposed to come with. So I'm not sure Bandai was right when they said that. Yeah. Okay, enough about the card. On to the toy itself. Now, these toys do come with two translucent figures of Dragon Knight and Wing Knight in their respective colors. Unfortunately, these toys were made of the same mold as the original bike figures. So, articulation wise, the head can turn, arms go up and down, don't twist, but the legs move simultaneously, stuck in rider mode. These figures are probably good if you have the advent cycle. You can put the light through there. Otherwise, not the best bonus. Now the bikes themselves. Uh, these bikes have been stripped of their electronics. However, because of this, they are much lighter. And this will come in handy later. And for the set, they are in a battle damage style. So they're pretty scuffed up all over, even on the bottom. Nice detailing of it all over. Like these are more actual scratches, dents, than just paint, which I like. The Dragon Cycle looks the worst. It actually looks like it's been hit by a Velociraptor. Scratches all over. I was wondering what inspired him to do this, but it's very done in a very nice way. I mean, this is like the best part of the toy for me. Okay. So let me talk to you about their gimmick. I'll just have to get these guys ready if you excuse me. Okay, the gimmick for this thing is this little piece right here. Uh, it's basically a pullback action roller. I'll show you what it does. On the bottom of these figures they have this little tab. With the rider on top or without it, you tab it in here and snap it in. Okay. So you put it here, you pull it back, and what do you get? A glorified wheelie. Do it again. Now it's Dragonite's turn. Yes. Okay, so. Yeah, you can roll these and it's basically a glorified wheelie. However, these are the same molds as the original bikes. And so happens that the original bikes can also fit on this. Alright, and pull it back. Now, the thing is that it rolls here fine, but when I tested it earlier, this bike ran much more slower on the ground than this bike did. So, I'm assuming that the electronics held it down. Alright. I'll show the wing knife by itself. The wing cycle by itself, excuse me. So yeah, it runs fairly good. Also, because these bikes have a similar mold, the plastic flame decos from the original bike can also fit on these bikes from the dual rider set. Alright. So that's about it for the dual rider set. The only thing left to test is the card itself. Right here. 
So I'll stick it right in. All right, so that's about it for the dual rider set. Uh, I got it off Amazon for twenty five ninety nine, I think, and it's not available in stores. And I would rather wait for it to be in stores because most likely the price may drop because again, it's just two empty bikes in one car. May not be worth the twenty five dollars. Definitely, if you're a spear enthusiast, want to get all his cards. Or just want these um, damaged versions. It's up to you. So that's the end of my review. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.